Now this is content. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. You have researched a new. Oh, we got forty billion. 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 Forty billion of those. And forty billion of those. Where shall we put our new headquarters? Needs to be somewhere big so it's easy to click on from space. I need manufacturing so I can take over the world. Where's a big impoverished country? Don't hide from me, Norway. Dun dun dun. Forty billion. Well, there goes all our money. Bang. We're poor. We're poor. We're motherfucking poor. But now we can start building stuff. Okay. Well, we're gonna have slightly increased research so we can get that singularity. We're gonna have slightly increased production so we can keep. Fucking over cheap and great. By the way, guys, by the way, guys, hang on, while, while that builds. Where's the thing? The thing? <laughs> I lost the thing. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, I know you're technically not allowed porn on YouTube, but look at this. Look at this. What happened? Cheap and great. <laughs> they just got up like. They're bouncing off. Computered. Oh, baby. Smooth sailing at the top of the chart. Oh, yeah, it's all about selling cheap ass shit. The Pro Pewter 3 jokes on me and the Cheap Trash 2 <laughs> jokes on you. I just dominating everything. We're not even selling our laptops and tablets anymore. Oh god, we just lost all our money. What happened? <laughs> hang on a second, hang on a second. One of these products just stopped selling. Was it these? Oh, we need to just sell it cheaper. We need to make a Cheap Trash 3 and a Pro Pewter 4 by the looks of things. Then they're still not getting enough sales. I think making things a tiny bit more expensive than the absolute trash we were doing is a good idea, just because we can't fulfill demand for this trash, and we never will. So we might as well make things a tiny bit more expensive. So there we go. We've got Mac that only plays Pink Floyd. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you get. Prototype it. Make sure it only does one thing, boys. Does anyone like to purchase my computer? I made it in space, so you did. Go on. Go on, give it a boy. Yes, right, give it a boy. Take a boy. Turn to that. What I'll do is I'll force people to buy it. Hey, you disgusting poor people. You can't have computers anymore. If you want computers, you'll have to save up all your pocket money and buy this Mac that only plays Pink Floyd. Yep, indeedy, <laughs> my unfortunate friends. So there we go. Now we're making more money because we're selling at about the right number. Delightful. So we'll do the same thing with Pearl Pewter Revenge of the Capitalist Pigs. Just making a, a way better, admittedly, but people don't care about quality. It's more expensive and that's all people remember. <laughs> But we're going to force people to buy it. Is it done? Is it done? It is. Okay, put that on the market. Anyone going to buy that? Anyone going to buy that? Anyone going to buy that? You ain't got no fucking choice. You ain't having that. That Pro Pewter 3 jokes on me. So 25 million. Oh, people aren't actually that interested in these, are they? Okay, right. <laughs> Sorry, I was joking about the price. I was joking about the price, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if there's an ending to the game once you invent eternal life. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to sell. You know, it probably isn't, given the stuff that's not sold so far. Remember back in, like, the 80s and 90s, when we had, like, full-dive VR god mode technology, and people were like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, eternal life. I don't think people are going to give one, one shit. <laughs> not, not even one shit. <laughs> oh, lads. Oh, lads, I've got one singular focus here as I float in space. Hocus pocus, I say. A magical technology comes my way. Blow jobbits at the ripe old age of 69. Doing that black market cocaine, line after line, knowing it has made him immortal. Just in time to fuck this disgusting yellow planet <laughs> and piss off to cloud nine. It's another galaxy or something. Look at this. Well, cheap and great have just started taking over, but it just doesn't matter. Where's the sales thing now? Let's see the sales thing now. Where is it? Come on. Where do you put it? Well, look at that. We're kind of neck and neck. Neck and neck. <laughs> We're joining hands. They're beating us this year, apparently, but the year's only just started. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Research. 
Oh, oh, there's some for the tiny dev research. There you go. Research the semi crystal drive. <laughs> we haven't put out a new PC in like 10 years. They're going to take all our PCs off the market in a moment. Yeah, they all came out in 2020. So if we don't do this before next year, I'm going to have to bother to make another PC, and I do not have time for that. We are bugging off. <laughs> Immortal robot blowjob. What's adventures in space? <laughs> all on his own. Because everyone on Earth was ungrateful for all the weird ass godlike VR powers he gave them back in the 80s. Yeah, that's a pretty good theme tune. You theme tune. Oh, it's not. What's this? What is this? A, a, a YOLO crystal ring. <laughs> yes. A beautiful crystal ring made of the finest gemstone. Engraved by the finest craftsman of Middle Earth. <laughs> with a simple message in the elven tongue. It reads YOLO. <laughs> Fuck the police on the reverse side. <laughs> Get in here, Ron Paul. <laughs> It's happening. Surely it's happening. Look how close we are to this thing. The bar's full. These numbers are almost the same. Maybe once I've done this, it will happen. Ready? <laughs> Ready for singularity? Singularity in three, <laughs> two, one. Congratulations, you've become immortal. <laughs> oh, good. You've become an immortal, super intelligent entity. The world is yours. Remember to implant. <laughs> You can control anybody. What? We've been controlling everybody since the early 90s or something. That was us implanting things in everyone's minds when they slept. That was us. Well, it was me up in space. It was me ordering my hench slaves to do it. Slaves. Okay, so I've become a mortal. The world is mine. Do I get anything for doing that? No? I guess we just did it. I guess, I guess we just did it. Did we do it? I don't know. Have we done it? I mean, yeah, we've got it, but... Should I, should I get rid of the bodyguard? Does nothing happen? I guess that's just the end of the game. Because, like, you know, time stopped. Yep, time stopped. Bugger. I guess that's an interesting science fiction point to remember, because... If you are a cybernetic organism, your brain can run at a much faster rate and do more calculations per second than ours can. And what that allows you to do is experience time extremely slowly. So like you could experience centuries for every second of real time that passes because your brain is running orders of magnitude faster. And in your virtual world, simulated by a computer, it actually can run at that speed as well. So what I'm saying is this is an extremely deft point about how the future of humanity will suddenly compress into this instantaneous moment where a simulated reality can run so fast that everyone is effectively immortal even if there is no cure for death. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? Didn't get a single fucking sail on the Isle of Man? <laughs> Somewhere out there is space. There's a man who conquered the human race. They call him Blow Jowers, and he started the worst. A company that you ever heard of. <laughs> Blow, won't you come back? Blow, won't you come back to work? We miss you, Blow, Jobbots. We miss your shitty computer products. We miss that billboard that tells Sandra to fuck off. It's so hard, that's not a very good cause And that's even worse, but I don't know what I'm doing anymore, 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 anymore
Whiskey. Blow job but Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>